my name is Shabnam Riaz and here we are with another episode of Health is Wealth. Well, on today's program, the subject is that everybody wants to look good, don't they? It's your right. There are so many options available in regard of beauty treatments, laser, Botox, thread lifts. There's just so much going on. To sort out the confusion and what can suit you, what is best for you, what is cost effective, we are here at IPAL and we're going to talk to Dr. Shehbano, who is one of the leading consultants here and she is also a master trainer, injector and sculptor. We are going to talk to her today about all the treatments that are available and what can work best for you. Hey, Hello. how are you? How are you? So I'm good to fine. see you. Lovely. Good to see you. Pleasure. <laughs> Welcome to the clinic. It's lovely being here. It's Thank you very beautiful. much. Thank you, Shabnam. Please join me. All right, so it's wonderful to be here, Dr. Shehbanu, at your clinic, IPAL. And you know, I must say, you have decorated it so well that when you actually walk inside, it looks more like an art gallery or something yeah. like that. But then I think that's your aesthetic eye. <laughs> Thank you very much, Shabnam, for joining me here. It's uh, honestly an honor for me because PTV coming out from their studios, that's a big honor. And showing the real aesthetic world that what's happening all around the world and in Pakistan, we should show people exactly. that what we are doing, that's oh, yes. an important so it's, thing. It's our pleasure. Thank and, you. Um, you know, before we go on, I would like uh, Dr. Shabana to talk about her expertise because she has a very specific expertise, which is? Yes. Difficult to pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> I usually get it wrong. <laughs> the medical aesthetic practitioner. Right. which means so it is basically the sub branch of the dermatology mm -hmm. so after getting the training that was mcps and md training in dermatology mm -hmm. then i started that special field of aesthetics mm -hmm. which is all about the cosmetic procedures about these things because on the social media it is providing a lot of information mm -hmm. so shabnam sculpting means that whenever the people are coming to us mm -hmm. the young faces those who are bloggers those who want to do the beautification you know the modeling and everything they want to pose beautiful so mm -hmm. for them, if for example, there are six out of 10, we have to show them, no, they are nine out of 10. Mm -hmm. So how we do that, we sculpt the faces by giving them the proper treatments that are sculpting with the hyaluronic acid fillers, if you have heard about the name, mm -hmm. giving them the angles, the mm -hmm. gonial angles. Mm -hmm. So that's a perfect combination of the shadows and the lights that we see in the beauty world when we see the high end faces in the models. Right, so, so in other words, this is very interesting people are being sort of like more camera friendly than before. Yes, it's because thanks to the iPhones, yeah. we, social we are media. social medias, they are giving the beautiful filters to mm. beautify them more. Mm. So that's the people, that's exactly what people want when they come to us. Mm. Ma giving them the real faces exactly what they are seeing themselves in the filters. Mm. So, okay. they, so here our work starts usually. Mm. So right now we've also you know, got a lovely cup of coffee Absolutely. to enjoy here as well. So the atmosphere is really great. It doesn't day. feel like yes. we're recording the program as well. It's a friendly chat lovely. which will also benefit our viewers as well. Uh, I wanted to ask you that you know, when you get a patient that comes in through those doors, of course you know, they may be a celebrity, they may be a blogger, lots and lots of followers, social media. They have a sort of a standard to maintain. Mm. So how do you make sure that you're giving them realistic expectations and also how much is too much? How do you create the balance? One thing that I want to mention that in our field, no person is layman. Hmm. If I consider any patient who is coming to me, they know exactly what they want hmm. because they have been following and doing a lot of researches on the Googles. So they have all the answers for all the questions. Right. One thing. Another thing is definitely the social media is playing a huge role. From our actresses to their skin quality to their hair, the way they look, the standards have been definitely touching the high ends. Mm. So the expectations are according to that as well. Mm. People follow these bloggers and then or the actresses or actors and they keep their expectations according to that. Every face looks similar. Oh. You see the cheeks, you see the dagger chin, mm. the big lips, sharp noses, mm. harsh eyebrows. Why? That's exactly the reason when the patient is sitting in front of me in, for the consultation and whenever the hyaluronic acid filler is needed and if I'm you know, mentioning the name of the fillers, the people who want the subtle work, who want the rejuvenation, who want a gentle lifting without letting anybody know mm -hmm. that something has been done 
and they should look beautiful in their own skin. But there's the other half of the people who have really wrong expectations. This is the duty of a doctor to stop them. That is very, that is very interesting. interesting yeah. Another and another point that mm. is quite important, the, the another question that you have asked me, mm. where to stop. Trust me, whenever we give the results to the patient, they are very, very happy. Mm. And they are actually afraid to lose the results. Okay. Even telling them that this product or this result will going to last for quite a long time, that is one year and plus. Mm -hmm. Again, after every fourth and fifth month, they come back to us. Can you give a little bit of more, little oh. bit of lip, oh. little bit of eyes, little bit of cheeks? Mm -hmm. So that's the duty of a doctor to stop them. Mm -hmm. That's exactly where my role comes in. Right. to show my loyalty to the patient right. that no this is not something I have to add on mm. I have to stop here you look best in mm. your own face mm. just keep your skin beautiful you know apply some antioxidants work on your skin and that's a full and, stop and for that me. is so important the yeah. responsibility of the doctor Indeed, as you said that's, that's important um, now you know thinking of the situation that we're in uh, where people are very very conscious now about how they are looking. Are we more insecure than before? Have beauty demands increased? What exactly is going on? Yeah, the, so I want to tell you a little bit of inner story about uh, different people who come to me for the consultations. The trend of second marriages, the trend of beautification, I don't know how I can explain it to you, mm. but the beautification is is the thing that, I mean, if I have to talk about the Second World War, mm. one of the product that was most so hot selling product was red lipstick. Mm -hmm. Why? So beautification has never been stopped, even at the time of the COVID, mm -hmm. when everybody was house bitten, they were not coming after, out of the houses, they are segregated, the people who were coming to the static clinic, they have not stopped. Right. So beautification, if you talk about the beautification, looking beautiful, you and me, Mm. Let, let's give our examples. Mm. We are putting a little bit of makeup. Mm. We are making up the hair. Mm. We are bleaching our hair to look beautiful. Mm. This is the definition of aesthetics. Mm. And we really feel good and positive when we look good. Yeah. If you are in the simple clothes, you are sitting in their lounge, your energy is different. If it, you are sitting in front of the camera, you are putting a beautiful makeup, highlighting your hair, Wearing lovely clothes, your energy is different. Different. You're absolutely different. Right. In fact, I found that the day that you don't change out of your yes. PJs and or you haven't washed your face or something, you will be totally so sluggish. Yes. And a so different that's energy. Beautification. Yeah. That's beautification. That's okay. beautification. Okay. That's where the trends have been changing. Mm. The social media is giving a lot of impact. Mm. The beautiful girls posing on the social media. I will just. I want to mention one thing. Mm. Be realistic. Mm. I mean, I never, I never want to say this thing, but do not make ideal those people who are just posing about their looks. They're making you feel crazy. Mm. If there you have, be. so there are many, many people, for example, if I tell you the example of the glutathione, which is a very, very big bluster type of a thing and a hot discussion for so many channels and the medias and so many clinics who are earning a lot of money with this thing. Mm. We take glutathione as an antioxidant, but if some girl, the young girl, who has been told in her own family that your complexion is not good enough to marry somebody. Mm. I just pushed a full stop. Mm. I just have to counsel that girl. This mm. is your genetics. You can't change your genetics. Just don't listen to anybody. That is so important. And trust me, in my 15 minutes of consultation, mm. they listen to me. That is amazing. For the last 15 years, if she was insecure about her right. complexion, yeah. the bullying from her own family, she listened to me in 15 minutes. So the real beauty as well comes from within. It's confidence as well, it's isn't confidence. it? confidence. The way you it's carry confidence. yourself. The way you and carry of course, yourself. these things help you. Absolutely. But inside, you have to be a secure person. Uh, that is really, really important, yeah. what we just mentioned. Another thing, you know, unfortunately, not all doctors carry the same ethics. Maybe some are a bit lax in their responsibilities or they're more geared towards uh, a financial gain. How can a patient safeguard themselves when it comes to different types of treatment? Because, you know, now and again, you come across people who have a bad experience mm -hmm. and have said, oh, we went for a hydrofacial or, or laser or something and something adverse happened. Yeah. What should people be looking for? 
um, there are different qualities of machines as well yes, absolutely. that are used. Absolutely. Can you tell our viewers about absolutely. that? Absolutely. So that's quite informative. You guys are playing a very huge role. You guys are giving information to the people. And there are so many people, definitely, they are spending the money on their beauty. So they come here with a lot of research. Now people are knowing. Mm. Aesthetics, if you see any Veer Shabnam, it's like, it's on fire. Mm. You, see, you see the gynecologist doing aesthetic. You see the plastic surgeon doing aesthetic. You see yeah. every, every field is doing, picking up the aesthetics. That's true. So it's a very, very sensitive topic. The one thing that is important, the people who have the underground medical knowledge, they are the best persons to do the aesthetics. Mm. Those who have been working on the aesthetic for last many years, they are the best people to get these procedures done. Mm. Another important thing, whenever you are there for the consultation with any doctor, mm. ask them different questions. Right. What machines you have? You have your media, that is a Google, an easy medium for you to okay. do the research. Right. So once they are pointing out that this machine we'd use, mm. it is an American brand, mm. it is ABCD, this brand, mm. they, will, they are going to do the research. Mm. And yes, you can just counter check with some other. Mm. You know authentic doctors, whoever are doing what work on the social media, mm. that's an easy medium to you reach the different, out. yes. And you can yeah. easily find the different practices mm. and how we take care of such things, keeping one thing in mind, that we have a huge investment of these machines. Mm. There are multiple hydrofacial machines. For mm. example, I keep on doing a lot of information type of videos on my page as well, mm. in which I try to explain to the patients that this is authentic mm. and this is something which is quite non-authentic and you should not go for that. Be so I think, yes, that. these little videos yeah. do help patients to... Because we're now we see a lot of um, small setups where, where you haven't heard about yeah. uh, a person's qualifications Absolutely. and it may be that they have acquired a laser machine and maybe the, the right protocols are not being Absolutely. used. Absolutely, So that can right. give somebody, you know, quite a bad experience. Educate yourself, follow the right people in the business, the ones who are real professionals. Okay, um, you know, with the hundreds of things that are out there, it's so confusing. Mm -hmm. You see, you know, one day you see laser going so many places, there are so many different types of laser. And then you will see, okay, Botox, so that's, a, that, yeah. that's not very new. Then you have your facelifts, the yes. ones where, you know, what, the lunchtime facelifts? You're touching my favorite topic. Okay, the <laughs> <laughs> actress threads. Uh, yeah. Tell us about those. I mean, you see a lot of videos. Yes. It looks really painful, is it? <laughs> Maybe I'm not the right person to ask it's painful or not. <laughs> so Shabnam, um, anybody who's here for the consultation, I just try to explain them a little bit of about anatomy. Mm. I wish I can show you one of the diagram if you can focus through your camera. Sure, try, Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, let's see this. So if your camera can focus on this interesting diagram. So one of the interesting things that I always explain to my patient mm. is this picture. This picture is very interesting. Mm. Many patients who come to the dermatologists, mm. they are just coming for this layer. I always tell them, this is the cloth and this is the filling. Okay. If you do not have a proper filling, mm. this means the cloth is not going to shine, neither lift up. Okay. What is happening beneath this skin layer? Mm. Are the extra four to five layers? Mm. What are these layers? This is the bone. Mm. That's the mass tissue which is attaching the bone and the muscle. Mm. This is the muscle, this is the fat, and the, in the end comes the skin. If we are not tightening these layers or not focusing on the anti-aging procedures of these layers, this means my skin will not be radiant. It won't show any effect because it doesn't have the proper filling. Now, I want to tell you something which mm. is quite important. Mm. If the patient has hyperactivity of the muscles, frowning, nothing in the world changes except the Botox. Okay. If the patient has the atrophy of the fat, mm. the flat cheeks, mm. too much of the nasolabial grooves, mm. this means the fat has gone. You okay. don't have support here in the mid tissues right. to lift it up. Mm. Until and unless we are not replacing it with a fat graft, which plastic surgeons do, Mm. or the hyaluronic acid filler or the collagen booster fillers mm. you are never going to give results to the patient no matter how much work you do on the face the skin many people come to us with a lot of prps the micro needling treatments getting done mm. and they are expecting and they have been told that you're going to have the lifting effect 
I will clearly say no. You are not going to have the lifting effect if you do not have the underlying fat tissue. Right. That is important. Okay. Your filling is not good. Mm. Your cloth is not going to show any type of tightening. Mm. That is important. Mm -hmm. If you have this ptosis, mm. a lot of people at the age of the 30 years, they mm. started having this type of ptosis. Mm. Aging people think whenever we talk about the aging, they think, oh, we are just 25. We are just 30. How can mm. we have the aging? Mm. There are two types of the agings. One is just the number, the chronological. The other is biological. So those people who are quite stressed, they face the aging very quickly. Okay. In a lot of people who are uh, coming from um, the northern areas, mm. you'll be surprised to see the aging at age of 20. A lot of wrinkles. Sun a lot exposure of, is that? A lot of sun mm. exposure, yes. So multiple factors. Right. which is attacking the skin and attacking the deep tissues leading towards the aging. Keeping in mind, whenever we have to treat this type of jowling effect in the lady who is 35, mm. nothing is going to affect until and unless you give them the proper thread lifting. Right. I made a small video for my patients to explain because they have been getting a lot of fancy names. The mini threads, the mini mm. Botox, the happy Botox, the meso Botox or Many people call it the baby Botox. Okay. Keeping one thing in mind, Botox is just Botox. Right. Thread lift is just thread lift. Completely different things. They are just fancy names to make you feel better. Right. Maybe somebody is telling you that, okay, listen, I'm not going to do too much of invasive treatment for you. Mm. I'm just doing a baby Botox for you, baby. So that baby word makes them feel good. Okay, I'm, I'm using this baby step. Mm. Though it's a, it's a it's Botox. A, okay. It's right. a Botox. Right. And another thing, if the patient has the drooping of this tissue, mm. nothing will work. Only thing that will work is to bring all the vectors upward, mm. just like the plastic surgeons. We do it with the non surgical method, mm. that is thread lift. Mm. And the beautiful thread is the aptos. Why it is different from others? Mm. You just mentioned about aptos. Yeah. I worked a lot on. The threads, Shabnam. Mm. I used to work on the PDOs before, and silhouette is still my favorite. It's beautiful. These are different types of These threads are different you're threads. talking about. Yes. Okay. Um, it might be of some interest to the people who have been doing these threads because they, it's very important to mention the names. Okay. Aptos is a beautiful thread because this is with the hyaluronic acid coating. Okay. This means I don't need to put the extra fillers. Mm. It is the it is giving the work of the fillers and the lift. So it's not only just lifting your face, it's it also working actively inside as well. Absolutely, mm. it's rejuvenating. On mm. the 14th day when the patient is coming back to us, mm. they see the better quality of the skin. Why? Elastin collagen formation. Mm. And that was proven biopsy through the biopsy on the different days. And it's going to last for at least 1.5 to 2 years time. Is there anyone who shouldn't be having this sort of treatment? Any medical uh, concerns? Uh, so there are two types of the groups. Like for example, if the patient has a lot of doses, then they are the surgical patients, not the non-surgical ones. Okay. That is important. Mm. For the people who have the underlying connective tissue disorders, those who have SLE, DLE, or any autoimmune disease, we have to be very, very careful. Okay. That is important. Right. Even for those patients who are a little diabetic, we have to see if they have maintained their diabetes, then it's a good time to go for such procedures. Mm. Otherwise, I think it's very, very important not to do such procedures for them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this is a lot about, you know, uh, procedures, uh, uh, a lot about uh, uh, many advanced technologies. What about the days when... <laughs> Who used to say, okay, just washing your face with a good soap <laughs> is the good, good for time. you. <laughs> and that's I wouldn't it. have been sitting here then. <laughs> and, and then at that time, a person's beauty treatment would be uh, around about near their wedding. <laughs> you have Upton and things like that's that so going true. on. That's so true. How would people have maintained... A healthy glow. So imagine, you know, we, we have to go back 30 years or whatever. Yeah. How would a person without all this technology maintain a healthy glowing Excellent skin? Excellent question. Genetics. <laughs> oh, right. The okay. genetics plays a huge role. Mm -hmm. Many of the people say that, uh, look, my mother never had these procedures, but she looks so better than me. Many people come to us. Yeah, yeah. And I always tell them, maybe you have not inherited those genetics. Right. She has got the best genes. Right. which is actually keeping her look younger. Uh -huh. Secondly, I, do you really think the social media was that vast? 
it w- it media is playing a huge role in that mm. giving an awareness that beside these soaps and beside these topical creams there are something else to beautify us yeah people used to spend a lot of money on their clothes yeah. on the jewelry that was aesthetics in the past right. days right you know those people mm. who never had any procedures or they never had any idea about such procedures that these could be done mm. so they used to spend money on the aesthetics which were clothes which right. are jewelry right the bags right. now they spend on their face on yeah. their body yeah so the era has been changed right i think so genetics but if it then makes sense <laughs> if it makes sense i'm not sure it does or it maybe does. you genetics. can ask the lady who has been i mean who is who can answer such a question who's been in the times yeah, where she was living really before with right. all the soaps genetics. and the creams play a huge role. I can um, see you I'm seeing you after 5 <laughs> years and still complimenting that you look young. Thank you so much. Lovely. Coming from you that's a huge compliment mm-hmm. and Mashallah, I must Mashallah. credit my mother for you, you know, should. <laughs> she has um, she has passed on amazing genes in, Lovely. in hair and and skin she really has. While we are at your clinic we would love to see some procedures being done. Absolutely. We have prepared two patients. Uh, one we are doing the hydrofacial the other we are doing the M sculpt so people know about hydrofacial people don't know about the M sculpt. Mm. That's a beautiful device, amazing technology, high fem technology which mm. means mm. high intensity focused muscular contractions. Wow. The patient is just going to lie down on the couch and they are going to give the 20,000 crunches to the abdomen. Oh my god. So that's crazy. And yeah, that is. That's one of the world most famous devices that's called M sculpt. Okay, let's go then into the procedure room. Absolutely. Okay. Let's go.